morning, everyone, and welcome to Natique in Oak Grove, California, and NatiqueYarns.com coming to you live on a very crisp winter morning here in Northern California. I think it froze last night. It's quite it did. chilly this morning. It did. Which is unfortunate because I forgot to recover one of my plants. Uh oh. Hopefully it's okay because it's very well watered right now. Uh oh. The rain. <laughs> but I had to uncover it. Its blanket was sopping wet. Oh no, that's no good. Yeah. I thought it was far enough under the overhang of the house, but it must have been blustery with our rain and blew it in because it was squishing the plant, so it had to come off. But now it's been frozen, so. Let's Fingers hope it was crossed. far enough under the overhang to yeah. not be too frozen. Yeah, hopefully the warmth of the house kept that area from fully freezing. Let's, Let's hope. See. We'll see if I come back to a limp plant because succulents just go like immediately like they're like sad yeah Almost instantly from being frozen it looked fine this morning so there's hope fingers and toes crossed okay so far the video appears to be cooperating this morning i see numbers going up so that's a good sign so we'll start talking about our grand prize which is our super fun combination of our pattern rapido which is a three stranded fingering weight cowl so because you're using three strands it's actually knit at a bulky gauge it's on size 10 and a half needles which means it is a super fast knit it's just knits and pearls nothing complicated for the stitch pattern so it's a great project for learning how to multi-strand um, and we have paired it with three different fingering weight yarns because as long as they're all somewhat similar fiber content like these are all a wool blend of some kind um, you can easily mix and match yarns so we have one skein of noro silk garden in this pretty self-striping combination of pinks and purples like there's even a little bit of like bubblegum pink and fuchsia pretty. hiding in the middle then we have a skein of Alexandra's Dark Side of the Moon in Moonbeam with the Purple Rain color splash at the top here. I still don't know how I didn't get that one originally. Right? We can fix right. that because we have more. Uh, okay. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have the gorgeous Dream in Color Smushy Cashmere, which is a Superwash Merino Cashmere Nylon Blend in lavender bloom which is this like gray purple grapeple yep grapeple powder purple it's pretty dusty purple somewhere in that ballpark so these three skeins will easily make the roughy dough pattern in the larger of the two sizes Roxanne wanted to know the color this is silk garden sock I believe yes so S205. Just know that it's purple people. Purple. That was hard to say. <laughs> like that might have been too much alliteration for this early in the morning. Yes. <laughs> just, just a bit. Look at all our pretty amaryllis in the back with the snowman. He's not a snowman. Gnome. Gnome. The gnome man. I didn't know what gnome. word to say. Oh dear. So how you get entered into the grand prize drawing that I just put away um, is every time you make a purchase from the 1st through the 15th of December, you're going to get one entry. It's cumulative, so if you purchase five times, you get five entries. Ten times, you get ten entries. It's any time you check out, whether it's here in the boutique, online at nateekyarns.com, and even over the phone with us. So you have lots of ways to get entered, and then we will draw to see who the winner is on Friday, December 16th. We're getting watched by Rex Golden, which is a doggy. I'm super excited. I don't know who you really are, but I love your little picture. I feel like I know who owns Rex, but it's not coming to me right now. Okay. Okay. Then for our daily prize, we have a fun one with some yarns that have been donated back into the prize pool because this yarn no longer even exists. Classic Elite Liberty Wool was a 100% washable wool, aka superwash, in self-striping colors, um, which is what we originally designed this out of. The two balls will make either the small or medium size, 
Another just easy knit purl pattern project, nothing crazy. This colorway has lots of pretty like vermilion corals, rose pink, some caramel, some violet, some plum. Like these two really are the same color. It's just <laughs> where they get cut off in the yarn pool. Oh, see, I knew it. Rex is Denise Shun's. Ah, right there. Okay. From Louisiana. I hope I pronounced your last name correctly. Um, and see, I knew, I knew whose dog that was. He's a beautiful dog. Um, okay. So how you get entered into the daily drawing is by what I see everyone doing already. Oh, magazines are in the way. Oh. There, try that. That should do it. More too. That should do it. Okay. So every reaction to the video, all these fabulous little bubbles that I see you guys rolling in, those all get you one entry a piece. And then if you comment on the video, you get five entries per, per, per comment. And then if you share the video with the little arrow to your stories, to your friends, those are the quickest. You can share it in different groups come back to the video and comment shared to and where especially if you share to groups because we can make new friends and make new Natique peeps that way by finding out about other groups that maybe need um, some local yarn store in their life because every knitter and crocheter needs some local yarn store in their life um, and then that gets you 11 entries per share if you remember to comment then the next day's video, we come over to our handy dandy comment picker and scroll to see who the winner is. Beverly Riser, congratulations. We know you're not local, though we really wish you were, or you could come visit us. And I know. So if you want to come see us, just let us know you have a prize in the cabinet and we will get it out for you. If you're not local, next time you make a purchase, let us know in the notes that you have a prize and we will include it in your shipment. We still have some Noro 22 magazines left. Sorry, 21. Words are hard today. Pass on the wool, she says. Oh, okay. All right, we will. I was just about to close the doohickey too. So, okay, let me pick another winner. <laughs> there we go. Okay, try that again. Alexandra Baldwin, congratulations. We know you are not local, so next time you make a purchase, let us know in the notes and we will include it in your shipment. I wonder if she's ever gotten to use classic elite yarn before. Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know. Oh, we also still have a few of the kitty cat tapestry bags and they have a zipper closure and I believe there's pockets in there. There is at least one pocket. Woohoo! We know we like our pockets. We all know pockets. Pockets, pockets, and more pockets. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Did we ever talk about our leopard readers? Um, I feel like we've mentioned them. But yeah, they're they're going pretty quick. So super cute, red and leopard one magnification and we have some silver as well cat eye which seems appropriate oh and this lovely lady needs a forever home oh, the she's last so cute charming. yeah i'm sorry i don't have a link for that yeah i'll put it in the collective if you write it down somewhere <laughs> Oh, and our lovely rhinestone pens. They are twist to open and super smooth to write with. We got several colors, gold and pink and silver somewhere. There we go. Well, white and silver. And what else is in there? Are you ready? Almost. I am going to pop my link in here. Here, we'll just do it this way. And then we Ooh, can there's start a red one. talking about the beautiful yarn that I attempted to talk about yesterday. And Facebook said no. 
I'm just getting colors until you're ready. I'm ready. I missed a color. There we go. Okay. Okay. So. Da -da -da. No, Ito. Yay. Which is what I really wanted to talk about yesterday in Facebook. Oh, that was funny. Um, so. I started with the one that's calling to me. Yes. It's it's calling to me. I couldn't help it. Um, Noro Ito is one of my favorite 100% wool yarns because while it is a feltable wool, it is also soft. So you can use it for things that are touching you. Um, so this is color number 54, which it feels like a new color to me. I could be wrong. but I it think it is. Like a new color. It is like this luscious rainbow of pink and cranberry. It's got kind of that gray lavender, indigo, sky blue, periwinkle, a soft orchid, powder blue, emerald green. Like it keeps going. Chartreuse green, <laughs> there's vermilion, there's sunshine yellow, coral. It's a party in a skein. It's like bright but soft at the same time, which is, you know, a challenge to be both bright and subdued all at the same <laughs> moment. And Ito is a 440 yard skein of worsted weight yarn, so you have lots of yardage to work with. What does Ito mean? I think it says in here, doesn't it? Oh, it should say... Uh, one hand is hard. On the bottom right Oh, down here. there? Ito means both yarn and young in Japanese. Ito is yarn reborn. Nice. Which is a very cool concept. So pretty. The what is? I thought the light was oh. staring at it. Oh no, uh, I was looking at the project up there that oh. I think you're going to link, so I won't pan up there yet. Oh. Um, then we have, for the blue people, color 48, spring mint green, kind of that lime and yellow green, serling blue, indigo cobalt are kind of mixed together this deep like dark forest green kind of sprucey there's a little bit of like orchid hiding in there some lavender sky blue that one is very much for the blue people that is number 48 Technology. I'm trying to link ahead here and it is not cooperating. Okay, so yesterday, because I'm in love with the first color I showed, <laughs> I kind of went down a Noro Ito rabbit hole and was looking at people's projects and stumbled across this super cute hat pattern called Vertigo, where it is worked sideways with increases and decreases. I'm not sure which sides which. I would assume the decreases are up here. Maybe some short rows. Um, to give you this spiral effect which pairs beautifully with the self-striping yarn. So that is, let me click forward to the pattern. Designed to pair well with the self-striping yarn. It was originally done out of Kirion. Ito is much, much softer. You need about half a skein for a hat, which gives you plenty of yardage to make two or make some matching accessories. You could do a cowl to go with it. Size eight needles. It's going to be a fast knit. And look, it's a free pattern. Is that one two colors? Yeah, I think they did like two rows, two rows, but then they did the inside as the right side. Right. It's 
super cute, fun, fast, easy knit. This would be a great project for getting the hang of short rows because it's just garter stitch. There's yeah. nothing fancy to it. Then I also found this beautiful sweater. Oh, wow. This, when I clicked to see what pattern it was, I was shocked because it does not look like the same sweater. I'd seen it before because we used to have the yarn the pattern was originally mm. designed out of. But this gal made it more cropped and more fitted. Um, so that's just when they tell you to cast on for the length here, you do less stitches based on your gauge for the length that you want. Mm and ignore what they say it's and side to side the size you don't make the size as oversized as you're about to see here. oh are you kidding me right whoa they're like that's the same sweater so this is lavage some of you have the pattern already because you bought the book um when we had this yarn but so they made the garter stitch band super long at the bottom too whereas if i go back to the project she only did about an inch and it is so much cuter i'm sad that this picture is blurry because it looks like she mm -hmm. has a cute little clasp on the front but so so cute i'm like ooh, i need to do that yeah i'm thinking it's side to side i stand a chance of finishing that one yeah, it won't <laughs> feel like knitting i know right, right? Which is like, you know, that's how Susan rolls. It has to feel like she's not knitting a sweater for her to knit a sweater. I have more things, but you, you gotta there's also more colors, so. Yeah, you gotta fake me out when it comes to doing a sweater. You do not want me to paste things this morning. It's being fresh. Okay. So, here's one that's kind of more of like a fall kind of color palette. Color 37. Just call it Susan's. This one? Yeah. Okay. The purple and orange. So 37 has beautiful um, violet, orchid, vermilion, persimmon, caramel, kind of a rusty gold, almost copper, bronze, cranberry, sunshine yellow, rose pink forest green. It's very fall in a ball or apparently Susan's. I want you to go sideways in here. And, oh, and it's hard do to do like with one the, hand. Yeah, I want to see the layers. Do you like the eyeball thing? And yeah. That's probably. How fun. That's probably enough layers. Plus I don't want to tangle up some of yeah. the yarn. Okay, then, pretty sure this is a new color to us, at least to us. This is color 52. It is new. Which has kind of bronze, fuchsia, fawn, violet, silver, teal, magenta. I like this teal right here mixed with the charcoal. Kind of more of a turquoise. There's some soft golds in there. I like tipping them over too because sometimes mm -hmm. you get a different ratio of the colors on the other end. Okay, I might need this one too. Okay, there's a gorgeous sweater that is designed out of Edo that this is called Wavy Boxy. The wavy feather and fan pattern makes it super flattering instead of it being like the horizontal stripes that would normally make one look wider. The ripples distract you from that, which makes the boxy fit much more flattering. And it's super fast, size 11 needles. Wow. No more than two skeins because it's meant to be super oversized. Super duper cute. This is a fun pattern. I like that one a lot. Then, oops, I didn't mean to show that one yet. You guys didn't see that. <laughs> la 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 la. 
Okay, this one, I wanted to show the close-up of this person's project first. So this is the freeze shawl, which is two colors. So they did Edo and a contrasting solid, like Malvinas, which I happen to have some combos pulled to show you guys. But look at this gorgeous shawl by Lisa wow. Haynes. So it looks like you did a whole bunch of fancy fair aisle, and it's not, it's slip stitches. And it's just that you have a solid and a self-striping. Wow. So you have your Edo, and then you have, like, with the really bright one I like, maybe some mm, hot pretty. pink Malvinas. This is color number two. So you could do 54 and two. Um, you could do, with Susan's color, a good contrast would be color number nine, the emerald green. So nine in Malvinas, 37 in Ito. I know it goes good with that one. <laughs> it goes good with this one. Just the thing, Ito goes with everything. Close your eyes and pick two and you'll be good. Ooh. Here's one for the purple people, which I'll just put in the middle because it kind of right? works with all of them. That's color 18. But look, it works with any of them. Pink looks really good at this one too. Yeah. You could even two row, two row that sweater, huh? The side oh, yeah. to side, that'd be fun. And you could um, do, you know, keep Edo your pop, do something totally neutral with the creamy white, make it like stained glass by using black. The world is your oyster. At least when it comes to knitting. Yes. Okay. I think this might be my new favorite. I hadn't seen it when I went crazy over the other one. Right? It's so pretty. I'm going to show you guys a couple more projects here because there's a couple more that are good for two colors. This one, Cowl Not Bread, is the name of the pattern. Uh, it is brioche. That's the corny name. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, this person did it all with Edo. They just did like either end of the ball. Um, but if you wanted the traditional brioche contrast, you could do Edo and Malvinas to get it more of that two color look. Like here it is in solids. But because they mixed up the self-striping, they got even more of a cool effect. And then what they did on this pattern that I think is cool is they did like your knit one, purl one, and then halfway through they switched it and made mm. it purl one, knit one. Because it's essentially all brioches. It's yeah. going to be knit one, purl one. So it creates that really trippy line down the middle. And you can do it with one skein. Wow. Then this is another fun one that is two colors. This is the fog line shawl. Now they did it with a bunch of colors, but if I click back here, oh, we have yes. this fabulous stained glass version. He made it a scarf, so he cast on about half as wide as the shawl, and you get just a solid and your Edo, and it's amazing. That is really stunning such a cute scarf and he's so proud of himself that he did a good job which is awesome size nine and ten and a half needles so you know that's fast one skein of Edo one skein of something like Malvinas probably what's the heritage on Malvinas I don't remember yep you could do one and one for a scarf Two and two if you want the bigger shawl. Like you can see, it's much bigger as a shawl. You know how warm and squishy that would be. Right? You could totally put buttons on it to give it like the convertible wrap kind of look. Then here's another cute sweater. More of your traditional top-down raglan kind of shape. 
This is another one that when I click on the original pattern, you're gonna be like, really? Ito just makes it a work of art. Cause it's very like coat of many colors, work of art in Ito. Oh. And then here's what it is originally. Wow. Nothing fancy. Huh. The Ito takes it like 10 levels higher. Wow. Who knew? It's written for a super bulky gauge but you can see that Ito looks beautiful at a super bulky gauge. And much more drapey than the original yarn. You could do that with Comfort Fade too, right? Just change your... Mm, Comfort Fade I feel like is the wrong direction for this because it's DK weight and this is worsted. Oh, so you, yeah, you know, okay, to, wrong way, yeah. You have to do math, whereas mm, this one no. you just match the gauge. Yeah because you can knit Ito loosely, but it's only going to take two to three skeins. Nice. Because of the gauge. And it's a free pattern. And Carol Feller's a really good designer, so you guys can definitely do that one. Nice yeah. and easy. Let's see, I've already forgotten about some of the patterns that I've got to link, <laughs> and I'm like, ooh, that's pretty. Oh, Melanie said that would be an addictive knit. Mm-hmm. Right, Helen? Noro just keeps getting better and better. I get distracted looking at your patterns yeah, and I forget to watch the... <laughs> no, I forget to watch the comments. Because oh. switching from a Noro knit item to the actual pattern, it's just amazing the difference. Patterns are a great jumping off point. Right. And then we get to change everything within reason. <laughs> Here's another really, really fall color. This is color 33, which has like that dark red rust, kind of this soft blush, taupe, that kind of green gold, a little caramel, kind of a rhubarb red. There's a really good like ombre of most of the colors in there right there. Everybody have a favorite one yet? No, and there's one more. One more color? Yep. Oh, well. One more color. Alrighty. Perfect pairing with the Noro magazine. Yes, because there is at least one sweater in there that is out of Edo. Okay, I like this one too. Color 41. It's very like stormy skies. You've got like the dark, dark plum and charcoal, that gray lavender, a soft violet olive green, forest green, kind of this cranberry pink, blush, gold, a little silver, kind of more of a wintry color. Oh, Allison's in love with 41. Yeah, see, Noro also always brings some brightness to your day. I like that. Beverly said these colors make one so happy on a dingy day like here today in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. I hope you can sit by the fire and knit today. Okay, I have a few more projects that you can do out of Edo or that were done out of Edo. Oh. The Noro Woven Stitch Shawl. This one they put a border on in a solid color. But you can see, like, if I click on this one, which is clearly out of Edo, they didn't do the contrast border, and it doesn't have to have it. It's fun if you find a color in the Edo that you want to tie in with the solid. It does add a fun little extra border. It's just garter stitch, nothing fancy. And it is written to have a garter stitch border. You can see it here. But you can do it all in the striping. You can do it in the striping and a solid. One skein. 
and it's a free pattern. It's a good time for free patterns because it just makes the yarn more affordable for right? you guys. Super fun knit. And that is the Noro Woven Stitch Shawl. Then we have a super popular blanket pattern, the To The Point Blanket by Rosemary Drysdale. This one is designed out of Edo. Self-striping yarns are amazing for mitered squares because you get this gorgeous, like, fancy quilted look that makes it look like you did a whole bunch of colors. And really, you did one. But what would be fun with this one is to just get, like, three different colors of Edo and make your squares kind of randomly amongst the three and you'll get even more of that effect. That would be fun. Because it takes this great 12, it takes four skeins, so maybe four colors, um, to do the 42 by 53 size. If you want it bigger, just get more yarn. And mitered squares are joined as you go, so there's really no seaming. Yep, and with this kind of yarn, you could easily, you can easily like tuck your ends into where you picked up your stitches along each square because it's kind of like a seam and because it's a nice sticky yarn it's not going to fall apart. I love this blanket. Don't we have an on-demand mitered something? We oh the washcloth. The, um, our washcloth pattern yeah. as an on-demand class. Then we have this cross hat shawl. This is another like Pair the self striping with a solid so you can see their striping garter stitch between the two colors here. You've got a little bit of probably just slip stitching here. I have a feeling they're not doing fair isle. I have a feeling it's just like knit two, slip one, knit two, slip mm -hmm. one kind of thing. So just slip stitches and garter stitch. You can do it with tassels on the corners or not. If you have cats, I recommend no tassels. <laughs> Because they think those are toys. It's so pretty. But it's really pretty in like every color palette. Even like this one's not super high contrast, but the patterning all still shows. So you could easily do the more subtle combination of these Edo with purples in it and then purple Malvinas. This one's pretty, the blues and the silver. That'd be fun to do, like that this one, one and <laughs> the white. Yeah. It's very wintry. And then the, I had to sneak it open because you snuck that one in on me. The oh. Veronica cowl <laughs> that you were focusing on up there yes. is one that, like, we have a sample done out of Edo. This picture happens to be Subame. This one's. Okunashima, I think. Ooh, that would be nice. Well, this one's Okunashima. So you can do it out of any of the worsted weight Noros. Ito is perfect because it takes one ball. And you literally knit a rectangle mm -hmm. and then seam it together. So it is the easiest cowl ever. And it has, when you get the pattern, it has different stitch patterns that are all just knits and pearls. So you can pick the texture that you like best and go for it. I think it'd be fun to do like four inches of each texture too and kind of change oh, it up yeah. so it'd be a little Casapinka y. That would that be fun. It keeps you from getting bored. You can show them that one that was calling to you if you would like. Right up there. Super fun and fast, easy knit. My girlfriend did like three of them. <laughs> I think that's one of them she did up there. Veronica Cowell. Right, Melanie? The yarn itself is a work of art. So it's like, who, need, who needs to knit it necessarily? Just add it to the I know, pattern. right? It's fun to just look at. Okay, so that is all the beautiful colors of Edo that we restocked. Then we will go talk about classes. And then we'll talk about what we're wearing. So all of our classes can be found on the calendar section at natikyarns.com. There is a little classes tab at the top. There's a calendar for the on the live classes. And then there's an on-demand tab for all of the previously recorded classes. 
So the ones we're going to talk about are the ones upcoming, which are still going to be via Zoom. We have the Mosaic Trees hat, which is done in two colors of DK weight yarn. Uh, we used Alexandra's Nisa. Uh, this one is great for learning mosaic knitting, which is a color work technique involving slipped stitches. Um, this one is Saturday, December 10th from 11 to noon. So a quick one hour class. You have a little pre-work of doing your ribbing so that that way in class we can dive right in to the color work. Then on Tuesday, December 13th, we have the eyelet drops shawl, which is all about learning to do the eyelets and the fishnet lace that's in there. So on that one, you have a tiny bit of pre-work with some waist yarn and spare needles to cast on, I think it's like 30 stitches and knit two rows. Um, we added that because we realized it would be easier to, for you guys to learn the fishnet because you're not, probably not in an hour <laughs> going to knit no. this much of your shawl. That's like eight inches and yeah, a few dozen stitches by that point. So we'll teach you the shaping of the shawl first and the eyelet pattern. And then on the practice piece, we will teach you how to do this kind of fishnet looking lace here. It's not elaborate. It just looks elaborate. So we're going to take the scary out of it for you. And that one was done with one skein of Art Yarns Merino Cloud or really 400 yards of any fingering weight yarn that calls to you. I did use a bigger needle size than the pattern calls for. So. Age. Yeah. Do what makes you happy. And then on Friday, December 16th and 30th, we have the Drop to Stitch Shawl class, which is a fun one for those who, the idea of, wait, I'm gonna do all this work knitting this, and then I'm gonna drop the stitches and let it unravel. If that sounds scary to you, take this class. It's so fun. So in the first class, we're gonna teach you how to knit the shawl. Then in the second class, we're gonna teach you how to drop the stitches and then do the border. So we're gonna take the scary out of dropping it and letting it run on purpose. That one is also a one skein of fingering weight yarn project, 400 yards. We used Merino Cloud and then added an accent of beaded silk and sequins. It is not required, but it is fabulous because it adds some weight to the edge of your shawl and makes it even more drapey. Then we have the one skein boomerang shawl out of our gorgeous Natik color Athens. Um, this one is another one skein project as indicated by the name. This is on Saturday, December 17th from 11 to noon. You have a tiny bit of pre-work to knit a little garter stitch triangle at the beginning. Starts right there in uh, the little tip. Yep, It's one night of knitting. Yeah, right there. It's not That's even it. a whole night. No. And then we'll dive right into teaching you how to do this. This is a different kind of drop stitch where it's extra wraps and then you're dropping the excess off to create taller stitches and then eyelets. So we're gonna teach you how to do those two stitches. Then on Tuesday, December 20th, we have the Color Contradiction Cowl. This is the one that you all were so patiently waiting for. If you bought our Turkey Day ebook, um, you do get this pattern included. Be a little patient with me. I added it, but Ravelry is being persnickety and it didn't automatically add it to you guys' library. Um, so we have an email out to Ravelry to see if there is a way to easily fix that. If not, I will go in and manually gift it to all of you because I can see who bought the ebook. So just give us a little leeway on that, but we will get you the pattern if you bought the ebook um, or it is available separately on Ravelry. This is another mosaic knitting technique project done in two colors of bulky weight yarn. We used the baby alpaca grande because we like our yarn soft and you just pick high contrast colors and you're good to go. Okay, I think that'll be it for classes for now. Um, Kathy, the number of the first Ito, which I happen to remember because it's the one that calls to me, <laughs> 
is 54 right there. That's yeah. like a parrot, you know? Right. Oh, Kathy said she got her yarn. Can't awesome. wait. Awesome. Oh, Beverly said she'll put them in a dish and just look at them for a while. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I, I don't blame you. I tend not to bring my new treasures. Like, I don't put them away right away when I bring them home. I can let them sit out and mm -hmm. stare at me for a minute. Okay, so let me pop in the links for what we're wearing and then I will tell you all about the projects. We still have some cracker smack for any parties mm, you have so coming delicious. up or just good snacking. I gotta get some more of the classic for myself. Mm, it's so good. My favorite. I ate all mine. I need more also. So I am wearing my favorite color cardigan which is another free pattern on Ravelry. It's a really fun knit that has one of my favorite sleeve techniques. It's called a contiguous sleeve. It gives you the look of a set-in sleeve but there's no seams. It is knit top down in one piece. So there's no going back and sewing anything in. Yay. <laughs> um, it is designed with a big garter stitch panel down the back. I left that off because I knew with my yarn I was this close on the mm. yardage and garter stitch eats up more yarn because it sucks up the length so I was like no <laughs> we're not testing that theory and it was a good no. thing I didn't because I ended up ripping out my swatch to finish one of my oh, sleeves my goodness never throw away your swatch till your project is done yeah thank you Melanie this one has lots of really good like shaping details in it and everything too which helps make it super flattering and I appreciate how close together they put the buttons because yeah even close together they still do the little like ripply thing but at least they don't gap open yeah because there's nothing more annoying than drafts in the front of your sweater. <laughs> sweater gaposis this one would be fun in Edo too though because it is a worsted weight sweater and you guys have seen how different it makes the patterns look um christina it is called my favorite color it's blue when you look at it on ravelry i did link it above kind of um, double yarned up today. This one is Ito, and obviously it's my favorite because you guys see it all the time. This one, however... This is your new favorite. My my new favorite. Um, this is my second project out of Worsted Weight. Yes, I said Worsted Weight. This is Silky Twist by Art Yarns, and I'm taking it off quickly because it's still wet. That's how excited <laughs> she was to wear it. Like, she didn't even let it finish it. drying. No, it didn't finish drying. <laughs> so this is one full skein, and... It is so, such a fun project. What's it called? Z all? Z I Y A L. Yeah. We'll, we'll link it. I want, I did link it. It's Z, it's called Z y'all. Yeah. There you go. It is a knit pearl combination, but it has smocking, which is this little bit that wraps around the stitches. So it's actually circling about yeah. six stitches. Where are we at? All of these little dashes. Yeah, and you can see it on the back as well. There's the other piece of it. Super fun stitch. Really not hard once you understand what you're doing. Let's see if maybe we can do a class out of this. And I used so much of it that I, I really, I couldn't do enough ribbing on this edge, which you can't tell. But that's how much yarn eh, I used. When it's scrunched up, no one's going to know. Yeah, and this pattern blocks because it was like, squishy that wide when it before I blocked it so it really comes out yeah look at the difference so nice we should have had you take before and after pictures on this one really You'll, it was it just was knit there. another one okay maybe next week we'll see you can <laughs> knit it in my favorite color instead and... um then no steal it. we'll talk oh, we'll, we'll, we'll trade <laughs> okay so you guys I think that's everything talked about fabulous yarn classes what we're wearing like what else is there we did the things uh, so thank you all so much for watching thank you for all the fabulous bubbles um and we'll go pull orders get ready to open the boutique and we'll see you guys again tomorrow have a good day bye